All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, and if you've noticed the calendar events, there's, uh, well, there's no events on it until uh, the 3rd of August. You know what that means? It's time for the Lampasoni family vacation. But before I take off to the mountains of Georgia, Lake Chatoug, I'm here to offer you one of my favorite wines. Of course, you know that if you've been watching this show, Barolo is my thing. Nebbiolo's my bag and one of my favorite producers, Giuseppe Rinaldi. We do a tasting almost every year with Rinaldi's wine, sometimes two or three tastings that include his wines, but at least one where we show a vertical eight, ten vintages, however many we have in the store. And I'll tell you, vintages like 2012, the new release, always show better when they're young. People like the highly rated wines, the 2010s, the 2004s, the 2001s, that will just last for an eternity in your cellar. Literally, wines like Rinaldi's, the classic old style Barolos, macerated for a long time, heavy in the tannins, um, and uh, no new oak. That's right, these guys, oh, new oak is sacrilegious to the old school producers like Rinaldi. Uh, these guys make wines that are built for the ages. And the vintage is like 2012, which appears, well, Antonio Galoni's comparing it to 2005, a uh, vintage that drinks beautifully right now, which we also just happen to have on this offering. Our good friends at Vinifera hold back a few cases of these treasures and well, the price goes up over time. That's one of the reasons why it's the best time to buy these wines when they're released. Usually the price is the best. And uh, the 2005, hey, we got 2003 also, another vintage that is drinking at its peak. And um, I think they're cheaper than the current release on this wine. They didn't get the ratings, but you can't drink points. You're going to pay for them with wines like Rinaldi. Always makes outstanding wines. So Bernate La Coste, a thing of the past. As we explain this article, also the, the laws have changed. And uh, our friend Giuseppe Rinaldi has created a new wine, the Tretine, since 2011. It's a blend of three different vineyard sites. He still does the Brunate with a little bit of Lacoste, 15%, but you're no longer allowed to use two crew names on the label. All right, well, check it out. We have got a dazzling array back to 1994, uh, the 1994 vintage for Giuseppe Rinaldi's wines on this offering. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.